Welcome to this installment of Brave New World on Context TV and what a brave new world it is for some sectors like travel, but also sports. When we think back of the 2008 Great Recession, clearly the finance sector froze and that had huge effects across the economy. This time, there are some industries like travel that come to mind as the ones that are most affected, but others like sports, where entire leagues have been canceled or paused, are having ripple effects and impacts behind the scenes. First, some stats. The entire global advertising sector represents a $620 billion uh, industry. TV garners a third of that at over $186 billion globally. The impact of the Olympics being canceled, where NBC has already sold $1.25 billion, has both direct and indirect consequences, and that's what we're going to be talking about. The loss of the NBA season is going to be costing Disney, uh, that owns ABC, but mainly ESPN, $480 million. Half of NBC, which is a property of Comcast, half of the $10.3 billion dollars uh, of revenue that NBC Universal generates comes from advertising. So these are huge stakes, big dollars. But it's not just a direct loss, it's also the indirect uh, spillover that it has. Let's face it, uh, until we have vaccines, until there's quick widespread testing, it's unfathomable to imagine a, a return to normalcy for sports and live entertainment, including concerts. Uh, the U.S. Uh, government was forecasting that by March 31st, they would have 27 million tests done. By April 10th, there have only been 2 million tests. So if you want any indication of how much this is lagging, uh, that's your number. So if you're a sports owner, if you're a league, the liability and the risk to incur uh, is just massive. Uh, and you probably don't envision a return of sports with fans in attendance. Now, you could envision the way the, that MLB is having uh, a season with no fans in the, the seats, which sounds crazy, but is also financially impossible because MLB generates far more of its revenue through ticket sales than other leagues like the NBA, which is considering a crazy plan to basically hold all of its playoffs and postseason in Vegas, which again, seems doable, until you start to uh, realize that like all the support staff that needs to come into Vegas at once and without testing, don't see that happening. Um, the spillovers are going to be far, uh, far, far fleeting. For one, you already have uh, companies like DAZN that are basically saying, look, we are not going to be paying for the rights and that's going to have effects and spillovers in terms of uh, the, the legal front. There's going to be clearly litigation there. Um, ESPN is, is reeling, uh, Disney is, is on all fronts under siege, theme parks shut down, cruises shut down, theaters shut down, production of domestic and international shut down. Um, so as much as you know, they want sports to come back, they, they have bigger fish to fry, so to speak. Um, but I also want to talk about the indirect uh, consequences. If you were NBC and you paid a fortune for the rights to the Olympics, You've sold a billion dollars of ads, $1.25 billion of ads, that you're going to have no choice but to let some of those advertisers um, off the hook, issue refunds. And if you are like Coca-Cola, and if you are Samsung and Apple, these major marketers that are paying NBC to run ads during the Olympics, it, you also have relationships on other fronts, so you don't want to burn those relationships. So at the end of the day, you're going to have to show some flexibility and issue refunds and do make goods. But Imagine you are NBC and you were going to launch Peacock, your streaming platform, and you were putting all this energy and resources behind it in terms of personnel and opportunity costs, but you figured that by having the Olympics on the airwaves, you were going to be able to put this big spotlight uh, on the Olympics and be able to cross-promote other properties of yours, such as Peacock or even your, your movie releases. So now that megaphone capability has been evaporated and it creates this tension where you're not only taking in less revenue, uh, but you also now have to incur more uh, expenses to promote Peacock elsewhere. Now, there's a silver lining. Some of those marketers who are going to spend millions or billions of dollars uh, around sports will, will probably look at spending it elsewhere, 
But with an economy that's going to be slowing down in a recession and, and with so many consumers lacking any discretionary purchasing power, well, you know, it's, it's also highly likely that some of that advertising is just going to evaporate. There's really a few big events like the World Cup and the Olympics. And if those aren't happening, it's not realistic that all of that will just flow elsewhere. So it's, it's, it's an evolving fluid situation. Uh, there's no real obvious solution silver bullet for, for, for marketers or the media companies. Um, and I believe that you're going to be feeling the ripple effects in years to come.